Good day once again. My name is Graphics. Today we want to construct an ellipse using a rectangular method. And we are given two axes, the major and the minor. The major axis is to be 166 mm and the minor is 108 mm. Like I said earlier, before you can start to draw an ellipse, you draw your major and your minor axis. So you take your two square, you move it, right, and you draw your horizontal line this way so you draw it this way and the horizontal line now the same thing you do for the vertical also this is a square and uh, you draw a vertical line then you adjust then you give a radius now the aim is just for you to get the center of the point of the line now we know that the major is 166, so you need to get half of 166. So half of 166 is what? That is 83. So I'll take my compass or my meter rule. I'm going to measure 83. Yeah. I'll measure 83 on my meter rule. Right? So push it here. This is 82 here. Right? So I'll place it here. And I'll mark left. And I'll mark right. Now the minor is 108. And that will be 54. So I'm going to make it 54 also. It's 54. And I'll place at the center also. I'll mark up and I'll mark down. Right? Now, the aim is, the, well, you said rectangular method. So the aim is to bring out a rectangle. So what will I do? I will take my C square, place it on my T square. And at this point where I marked this point, this is A, and this is B. So I'll draw a vertical line that passes through point A and B, like this, faint line, and I'll move it to this point too. I'm going to do the same thing. Now I've done this. Now at this point, this is point what C and point D. I'll do the same thing here too. Draw my horizontal line. Move it to the next point. Right? So this is what I've got it. So what you can just do, you can just clean off the all this edge away from it. So, so the next thing you do is to divide this line into ten and this line into ten. Right? So this is what I mean. You draw your horizontal line. As you draw your, your line at an angle from this point to this point, right? So you divide it into 10. So let's start. So, with the help of your set square, your, your compass, you mark it at this point, and you move. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you're going to join the last point to this point here. So, do that. Let me use this. Join this last point to this point. From here to this last point here. Can you see? I'll join the two points together with the front line. Now I need to replace the front for the same process. So I will not allow this set square to shake. I'll bring it to this another set square by supporting it with this other one. So I will now hold this one down. Then I can move this up and down. Are we good? So I'll be moving this to the next point. I'm going to draw. Move it 
to the next point. I'm going to draw. Move to the next point. I'm going to draw. Move to the next point. I'll draw. Move to the next point. I'll draw. To the next point. I'll draw. To the next point. Next point. So this is what we have. So now at this point here, the center point B, this is zero. This will be one. This will be two. This will be three, <coughs> four, and five. Also, this will be one, two, three, four, and five. So this is ascending. This is ascending. And also this is ascending. So I'll do the same thing for the other edge here too. But this time I will transfer the point with the help of my T square. I'll move it to point four, which is here. Can you see that? Then I will trace it to this point. Use my new point four. Go to point three. This is point three here. I trace it to the next point. My new point three. Go to two. Trace it to the next point. Point two. I go to one. Trace to my next point. This is point one. Yeah, this is already zero here. I'll go again. This is a uh, one. This is a um, two. This is three. This is four. And that is five. So let's start. So this is zero. One, two, three, four, five. This is one, two, three. Four, five. So I successfully divide here. So I'm going to divide the center also into ten two. So let's do that. Into ten. So I'm going to draw a line from this point like this at any given angle. Right? And I'm going to divide that line into ten. So the same radius or any radius of your choice you place it here and you mark one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that is ten so i'm going to join the last point to this point here so with the help of my first square so what I will do, I will join this last point to this point and divide it the way I divided the rest. So this, I'm going to divide the two. Now after you've done that, you hold this one down, place your set square at the edge here to support it, and start moving it so to this point. this point to this point to this point so you're going to do that very fast so you go have this right so this is five four three two one zero this is four three two one zero so when you do this you are going to draw a line from point c mm -hmm. you draw a line from point c to touch every single point like c here to one c to two to three to four right do the same thing here too c to one to two to 
3 to 4 then to 5 I do that then the next stage of this from this point D I will draw a straight line that will be passing through 1 that will touch line 1 so look at what I do from D I will draw a line that will pass through 1 as in point 1 here so a line that will pass through there I will touch point one. This is my first point. One. The same thing will come again. To two. Let my point two. Pass to three here. This is my three. Pass to four. This is my four. Then this is five here. I'll do the same thing here too. From the same point, passing through 4. Mm -hmm. To touch my 4. From this point here. To touch my 3. From this point also. To touch my 2. From this point here. Touch line one. That's it. We pass into those points. So we've got in all these points. So I'm going to join them together using my French curve. So that's the same procedure that I did earlier. Place my compass and targeting C and B. I will adjust it until it gets what I want. Can you see that? So I'm adjusting it. I'm going to draw uh, the first one and I'm going to turn it this way face the left targeting C and A I'll remove it See that so after I've done that, the next thing now you repeat the same process here. Also, you take your set square, or your ruler, you join from here to touch four, from here also to touch three, from here also to touch two, from here also to touch four. Same thing, and D to touch 4, and D to touch 3, and D to touch 2, and D to touch 1. Alright, so you've done that. Now you also move your points from this point, passing through 1 also to touch 1. That's the way you do, you did initially. So from this point, I draw a straight line passing through one to touch one, passing through C again to go through two to touch two. Can you see? Then passing through three, this three here, to touch line three, passing through four to touch line four. Right? So how you see that? Touching this point. Then here also, from C, that passing through 4, to still going to touch 4, passing through 3, to touch 3, passing through 2, to touch 2, passing through 1, to touch 1. So, this is the line 1 here. Now let's proceed. So this is our point of button. This point, this point, this point, this point. 
this point, this point, this point. So we join them together. And then the French curve. So since you've used this to get this, and you've turned it to get this, now you turn it like this also to get this. So targeting C and E, you'll be adjusting it. Again. You are targeting this and this. This is D and B. How good? So this is rectangular method of constructing an ellipse, right? So thank you very much for watching.